What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Jake Gutter in the motherfucking building. Today we are gonna go over a noob guide. We're gonna go over the things that you need to know. You know what I'm saying? Just starting out in the game, what you need to look forward to, what you need to handle, what heroes you're gonna get. Um, let's see here. I think you start off the game. It's been a while for me. Um, you start off with Chris, and I believe you get Ian. That's a dead giveaway. You see, he's a two-star. He's fucking trash. So don't even bother with this man. That should be the first person you replace in your party. Chakra, he's got to go to. He uh, sucks balls. Lance is the only, like, kind of decent one, but I drop him too. And Alfred. So let's, 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 let's talk about the heroes first. All right, now, World 1 over here. You're going to recruit Kai. Um, Kai is trash. I ain't going to lie to you. Don't even bother with him. Um, he's not really going to help you get through the tower, and he's not really going to help you do pretty much anything. Ever since they fixed the armor ignore, he's just he's just trash. That's all there is to it. Um, I mean, it's optionable. It's up to you. If you want to skill him, he's very easy to skill, actually. So that's your call. I wouldn't recommend it. Let's see over here. World 2, you're going to want to snag up Deb straight off the back. Now, unless you're, like, started off and you you managed to make it here for the last Nobles, uh event, and if you got Rask, I mean, put her in instead, man. Don't even, don't even bother with Deb. But if you weren't privileged enough to be here for that, um, definitely pick up Deb. Um, Lance is a pretty damn good tank straight off the back in the beginning, so um, you definitely want to keep him in your party. Level him. Uh, carrot's pretty awesome. Definitely get carrot and uh, hold her down until you get Jenny. Um, let's see here in world three. Yeah, you get Jenny like right there. So um, I wouldn't bother with carrot if I was you because she's not going to be useful in guild raids or anything else really. Um, so I would definitely get Jenny and Maz. You need to you need to level Maz straight off the bat because he's going to help you carry yourself through your little campaign mission so uh he's not bad let's see world four over here um Jax, get him he's a must because um when you're first starting off um he's gonna replace chris straight off the back um still keep chris around though you know what i'm saying still leveler if you can um Jax, though man for the tower of don normal mode uh, I don't think any of the bosses have HP immunity, so he's going to take that extra damage and just fuck niggas up for you all day. He's just going to fuck people up, so uh, get Jax. Pony, I don't know. Some people like Pony. Um, I'm actually starting to see a little bit of some promising for him in uh, guild raids, but yeah, I wouldn't bother. Sonic, Sonic's trash. Don't even bother. Ah, let's see here. In food. So world, world 5 over here. Lily, um, Lily's not a bad hero, but, man, that costume just be killing me, man. His costume be killing me. Uh, Gillian, Jillian, however you want to pronounce his name, man, get this man ASAP. So that's going to be somebody you want to get to. And, uh, Serenity's going to help you out a lot in the Tower of Dawn, so get her too. So, make sure you get her, those characters right there. Um, let's see here in World 6. I don't really feel like Cleo's a must, um, but you can get her. Now, especially if you want to be a free-to-play player and you want to be competitive in Battle of Honor, Dom is a really good character to get. She, she, she be messing people up. She'll go beast mode on them. So don't hesitate over here to get Dom. She's going to get a little hard for you when it comes to farming. Um... So it's going to be a little tough there. Rab, get Rab. Rab's going to be your dude right there. So get him and level him. So by the time that you get here, you should be able to beat the Tower of Don normal mode. I mean, you should be able to get there. You should be closing in on, on getting five stars. If you still can't beat it and you get here... Um, I wouldn't bother getting Jen because she's not going to be on your main team. Bear Man, get him. Um, 
Moa, I wouldn't even bother. You should be able to, you should be able to beat Tower of Dawn by the time that you get here. Um, I don't see any of these heroes really helping you in the tower. Kitty's pretty good actually in PvE. Um, let's see here. Where are we at? Alright. Um, Electra, she's a fucking joke. So by the time that you get here, you should be able to um, beat the Tower of Dawn. Now, the party that I'm going to recommend for you to, you know, mainly focus on, if you want to beat um, Tower of Dawn normal and uh, make it happen, you know, as early as possible. Um, now, if you, if you were here for the crut, first off, let's just do it without the, the normal here, like the the extra characters that they've been adding so let's just go by if this is what you have you know what i'm saying uh, all right so i would go with Jax. Jax is gonna get you there um serenity is a must um jenny's kind of like a get a glass cannon but she could really mess some stuff up um she has kind of low mana so that's what i'm saying you might want to carry around carrot like i preferred carrot for pve better because um if you don't have the gear for jenny she's just not gonna be producing too well for you so if i had to pick somebody to bring into the tower with me if if it's my first time trying to beat normal um all day every day i'm gonna take care of it with me um but drop her asap after that and um moss is a must you're gonna need a moss and um let's see here you need another damage dealer. Mm, I'm trying to think. Early in the game. Like you can see that I five star carrot because I took her with me to the to the Tower of Dawn. Um You could run double tanks. I mean you could run Chris. And um Actually I take Bear Man. Take Bear Man. So if you take Bear Man, Jax. Serenity. You should have Moo by then too. Put Moo in your in your club. That's 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 your deal right there. So with those heroes right there, you're finna make it happen. Normal mode's not too too complicated, but you should be able to do it and knock it out. Um, all right. Now we'll get back into the heroes, but let's get to the main things that you want to focus on. This right here, this package right here, the Coco's gifts. This this monthly gift right here is five dollars a month. You get seventeen hundred crystals. That's a holla at your boy right there. Like that right there is gonna put you ahead of the curve. So um, you already know that you're gonna enjoy the game if you're playing it. So you might as well buy this package and get your crystals. Now you might be asking yourself, all right, well I got some crystals going on. Um, what what's some things that I want to do? Now a lot of people be yelling about the expedition. That's not bad. Um, the problem with that is, uh, it costs a lot. And if you want to level this to a 10, I don't think that it's worth it. If you're a free-to-play player, I wouldn't bother leveling it to a level 10. Um, level 4 is good just so that you can get the two expedition slots open. You'll get one and two. Um, I would do that first so you can get on that fast track to get moved. Because you want to get moved because she OP as a motherfucker. So you want to get moved so she's going to hold you down. Um, she's she's a must. I feel like she's a must character. I mean, you just can't go wrong with Moo. Um, then, then as soon as you get that, like a lot of people are going to tell you to do other things. Fuck what they trying to tell you because I'm going to tell you what you do. Um, your gear is going to be hurting. Now, the cool thing that they came out with is this uh, transcending uh, with this alchemy system is uh, you can get accessories from that so like being free to play you know what i'm saying you're starting off you're like man where can i get accessories um play boards like if you farm certain boards they're going to drop weapons so when you just start paying attention to what boards that you're playing and what are dropping weapons so that you can use the alchemy system um right here and you can extract and once you extract enough and fill up the gauge, you'll get, you know what I'm saying, the platinum gear. So you want to get some platinum gear and start stacking up on it. But that's probably going to be your quickest and free way to get accessories. And they have, once a week, they have the 
they have it in a dungeon. They have the the weapons one to where you can go in there and you can farm weapons and stuff. And it's it's gonna take you a while, but you'll you'll get to the point to where you'll find them drop an accessory every now and then so you can upgrade it. But me personally, I would get this gift right here and um, save up, save up and just do one roll on everything. Like save up your crystals. You know what I'm saying? Until the day comes, do your one ten roll on one star do one of each each one of these because that's going to give you accessories and that's going to at least give you some basic equipment so that's going to put you ahead of the curve because um trying to grind up gear sucks and um it won't take you that long to save up these crystals to just buy one of each you know what i'm saying just just one ten roll make it happen um the next thing that i'm gonna put on my priority list that i would want to do is um get your friends list up because with these friend caps Let's see here. Let me see if I got some. Oh, shit. I already claimed them. Okay, we got enough to do a spin. But see, with these friend caps... Okay, prime example. Ah, shit. My fucking inventory is full. Ain't that a bitch. Let me extract something. Uh, okay, here's where we're hiding some. Um, The friends list, you want to get that up to 100 it's uh it's not too bad it's not too bad expensive but you want to get that up to a 100 uh, especially if you're free to play because when you roll oh my god are you kidding me did i not look at that shit damn where in the hell did this boot come from ain't that a bitch gotta fuck now boots are terrible don't even collect boots as soon as you see them just extract them don't even bother um you'll see a lot of people running shields and stuff too man don't even do it to yourself all right, here goes some stuff right here, too. I know you see this uprise in Platinum Gear. I'm saving it because I want to do that Tower of Dawn free-to-play uh, guide for you guys, and I don't want to be using sets. Actually, I need to start keeping some of this normal gear because I want to try to use as least amount of Platinum Gear as possible. Anyways, we're getting sidetracked. Um, right here... When you do uh, the friendships, you know, you're going to maximize the amount of friendship points you're allowed to get. So when you take rolls like this, um, you're going to get free stuff. So these Cocos right there um, to help level up your character, those are a plus. That's going to be your fast track to getting to the uh, five-star hero. You know, it's giving you mana stones and energy. What we're looking for is it gives you damn equipment. Now, if you want to be hardcore free-to-play and you don't even want to get the damn gift or anything, this is a good way to get um, to get equipment. It's going to take you a long time. It's going to take you a damn long time to upgrade that. But... Shit, you're getting free stuff from the event shop. I forgot all about that. But anyways, um, when you get it from there, just extract it. You know what I'm saying? And just pray... Pray to ring Jesus that you're going to get your ass an accessory. Um, that would be a good way to get the accessory. It doesn't move up much when you're using the gray ones, but it will get going. Um, so get your equipment going. You know what I'm saying? Get your friendship. Get your friendships up. Get your equipment. I get the expedition to a level four. Get your equipment going. Just do one 10-star roll, times 10 roll, and, and get that shit rolling. Um so after after you accomplished all of that and you have that and you're wondering all right what else do i need to do um a lot of people try to tell you that you need to buy these costumes and uh let me tell you until you get further along with these lord costumes don't even bother man our hero costumes don't even bother with it it's uh it doesn't make that big of an improvement it is something you want to save up for eventually because the extra mana rejuvenation um on this lord costume is is pretty it's pretty damn op you know these are permanent stats that are always going to be available to you regardless if you're wearing one or the other it's it's always there it's a constant thing um but yeah as soon as you as soon as you get you get all that going um the next thing that you want to do is get these lord masteries right here um now it depends on what you're doing all right. Now, if you're free to play, buy up your support masteries first because this is going to help you out um, by getting extra energy. Right here, you get that it decreases the time for recharge. 
Um, and the re rebirthing, that's going to take you a damn while to get. But Battle Masteries, buy both of these damn things. You get these motherfuckers rolling like ASAP. These are permanent perks that always carry on with your heroes. Um, Battle Masteries are probably going to help you... I'd probably get Battle Masteries first because that's going to help you get through that tower because that's your goal is to get through that tower get your ass a free set. Fuck all the bullshit. Um, so get that going like ASAP. Um, it's Now, as far as heroes, as far as heroes go here, um, if, you were, if you were around to where if you were able to get crud, you know what I'm saying, or if you were strong enough to get... Um, who was it? Razel? Who they just put up? They just put up somebody else. Uh, who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Oh, Reyna. If you could, if you were privileged enough to get them, you need to put them on your main team straight off the back. Don't even look to replace them because um, they're gonna get your ass going. But you're gonna need a uh, a collection of heroes for the Tower of Dawn. So, Bearman is a must because his aggro pole is really going to help you out in the Tower of Dawn. Uh, Chenny is a beast. Go ahead and get Chenny. Um, as far as your uh, DPS goes, like Chenny, Chenny's going to replace like a lot of people for you. Um, now, I haven't compared Reyna to Chenny to see which one's better, but I mean, Chenny's always been the truth. That, that's been my chick right there from day one. Um, she helped me get through the tower for sure when I first beat it. Um, and Jax, you gotta get him. Um, if you, if you were around for the Nobles and you got Muzaka, then you're on point. Go ahead and stick with him. But, you know, a lot of people will tell you that, you know, you get up in arms, you're like, well, should I drop Jax for Muzaka? Well, Muzaka's really good, but that HP damage percentage, man, you're gonna really need that in the Tower of Dawn. So run them both. Run them both. You know what I'm saying? It's situational. Um, the other thing that you're going to want to do once you're progressing in the game is, uh, oh, we always got events popping off. So farm the shit out of everything that you can buy is buy whatever you can. Um, these sets are awesome for free to play. They're not the best of sets. Sometimes they got some pretty decent sets, but Hey, a free set is a free set, man. Go ahead and farm that up and grab that. Um, make sure you get your dailies every day. Of course, these mod pots. What I want you to do with those is straight off the back, don't even use them. Um, just start saving them, man. A lot of times, don't, don't, like if you're free to play, you can go ahead and spend them. You know what I'm saying? Just go ahead and modify some equipment. But if you're modifying equipment, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you at least get it to pink right there. So when you modify it, it's modifying four things at once instead of, you know what I'm saying? Say, for instance, if you had something green. And it's like, you don't want to waste a potion on this. You could only roll one damn thing. It's not going to work out for you. You're going to get some shit. I've never even tried to do it with one. It would be fucking terrible. So get it up to the pink first before you use these modification stones. And um, for you to start even... Let me give you a primary example here if you want to see what type of stuff you're looking for your accessories. Now, as far as equipment goes, armor. You want armor on your character don't ever let a nigga boost your head up talking about put some boots on you do not want to build a dodgy character it's terrible it's horrible uh don't go with the shields because you need defense it's this game is all about survivability you want to be able to survive in the struggle so don't let them boost you up talk you into some bullshit um pr primarily you want to go with bows if you have the option to have those because you want to get your crit rate up you want to get your crit rate up as high as possible um, my crit rate on my Lee is kind of hurting right now, but it's a uh, it's a 85 percent. But you want your crit weight up as high as possible. Defense. You always want to aim for at least a minimum of 60 percent defense. Um, even as a free to play player, you can do that all day. Um, let's see here. Where was I going to pull my gear up? Okay, prime example. That's pretty much the potentials that you're looking for on your weapons. Period. You're looking for attack by percentage. You're looking for a crit damage, you're looking for a crit rate, and damage, period. That's what you want on every last one of your weapons. There's no ands, if, buts about it. 
you would like to see some pink in there but all orange is cool if you got a blue crit rate i mean it's not going to kill nobody but you want the rest of these to be at least a minimum of orange um armor let's see that's a terrible piece um yeah this is how i like to go with my armor this is this is beautiful um actually no that's not beautiful let me go to some higher gear here. One star doesn't really have a lot of good perks. No. Who's got it? Who's got it? Who's got one? My potentials have been been terrible. Anyways, we'll just look at this one. So you want to get the defense by percentage. You want to get the HP by percentage. And what I like to do here is um, it depends on who I got. If I got a tank... I want to go with uh, just the flat HP if it's on a tank character. And then I want to get the negative damage by a percentage, not the flat number. The flat numbers are terrible. Um, but now if it is, like say if it's just like one of my normal characters, a DPS or whatever, I want to get that flat defense on them instead of the HP. I don't really care about the HP. I want this flat defense. Um, see it like how that has 400 HP you'll have a f like whatever to defense you want to get that rolling straight off the back now as far as your accessories go um, there's different things at different levels um, one star the main thing that you want to roll with is this increase um, HP by percentage you want to make sure that you get that first and then the increase attack by a percentage of HP you need to get that and then try to get your crit rate going um, two stars where things start getting interesting. Um, no, that one has hit rate on it. You don't want it to look like that. Oh, I rewrote that one for some bosses. Sorry, my potentials ain't the best. Basically, this is what you want to see right here. You want to get the increase uh, attack by HP percentage. You want to get your increase crit rate by uh, defense. Because, like I said, you want to get... Cr cr uh, your crit rate up as high as possible and you want to get crit damage you can get crit damage on the two star and the three star I believe accessories um, you want to get that rolling so that's how you want that to look let's see here Doo -doo -doo. Um, you can use swords because some heroes are going to use swords um, with your hit rate now with your hit rate you want a bare minimum of 20 percent is what you want to aim for for uh, dodgy characters um and pve is not too too it's not too important like you can have like a 15 percent, you'll be fine but you at least want to have something on there you want to have some type of hit rate like look at that 20 20 somewhere in the 20 percent. that's fine um yeah that'll cover it for just about gear um let's see what else do we want to talk about Um, let's see here. Let's set, let's set up a party. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you something here real quick. So when you first enter into the Tower of Dawn and you want to beat normal mode for the first time, this is how you is gonna be rolling. These are the these these people right here will make sure that you beat it. So don't even worry about it. Put Chenny in there. Where's Jax? Fuck, I thought I had Jax maxed out. Where in the hell is he at? I know you're level 70, Jax. Um, not in this necessary order, but just somewhere. If you were around for Nobilis, we're going to pretend like your ass wasn't. Um, if you got Crut or Razel, of course, you're going to plug them in and Rena. That would be your team all day. Um, you're probably not going to have... Bella yet, but you're gonna have a Maz in there. You're gonna have my chick Serenity. Where the fuck is she at? Up, oh, up. Oh. You're gonna have Serenity in there, and then right here. I mean, truthfully, I go with Carrot. Carrot's second skill is fucking amazing. She'll fuck some shit up for you. She ain't finna play the radio right there. That'll beat Tower Don Hard all day. Um, I'm not Tower Don Hard, but normal. When I first beat it, this was my squad right here. So try to make this your main party when you're going and you're leveling. If you want to look for people to five star, 
Now, Moss doesn't have to be a five-star um, to beat normal. He, you can leave him a four-star. He'll still get the job done. Um, Jax is like the one of the few you need a five-star to beat uh, normal mode. And the rest could be four stars. I did it with all four stars besides Jack was a five star. He's going to be the main person attacking the boss and fucking some shit up. So anyways, you go with that squad right there. You finna beat the damn normal mode. You'll be all right. Let's see. What else do we want to talk to? Oh, here's another thing that I want to talk to y'all about. When you're first starting off, I don't care if you're a one star, two star, three star. Now, when you're playing Battle of Honor, you're going to run into people who just got way to hell bigger battle scores than you. Um, your battles, your battle score is right there. That kind of judges your team by its equipment, their skill levels, you know, their potentials, everything. And it gives them a rough number of how powerful they are. That's, I don't know, that's just how they do it. So anyways, um, lose on purpose because this participation reward, where are we at? Um... You get a participation award, so you're gonna get a, a hundred, a hundred thousand gold, and you're gonna get a hundred medals. That's what we're looking forward to. And when you go to the Battle of Honor shop, start getting somebody. Now, who do I feel like is going to be the most important to you? Bella, all day. If you're wondering who the hell you need to buy jeans for to unlock, Bella is your, that is your go-to person. Um, then you can focus on somebody else. If you got Bella. I would probably go Persona. I mean, he's good for some things, but he ain't really a must. I wouldn't even bother with him. I'll go with Knox next. But focus on her skills. Get her get her going. She's going to be OP as a motherfucker for you. Um. Yeah, so I think if you focus on those things, you're going to be all right, man. Um, Roll that gear. Get your expedition to the four. Buy the monthly cocos, gifts, and um, and here, this is the thing right here. When you when you're trying to skill up your your heroes, see y'all be cheating. Y'all didn't have it like we had it. We didn't have fucking event shops back in my day when I started. You know what I'm saying trapping on this game. We wasn't able to go here and farm a couple boards and get some fucking level 200 cocos. You y'all are five starring people fucking straight off the back. It's just crazy. We had to grind hard for it. We were surviving. We had to grind hard. But yeah, those are just the heroes that I would focus on. Just build this team right here. Fuck what anybody else says. This team will beat normal mode for you. Right here. There's no way that it can't. Um, if you want to substitute Muzaka for Jax, that's cool. But I still recommend 5 star and Jax. And... Once you beat normal mode and you complete that, then you can start focusing on really skilling up your people. Because you need to grind out people every single day. So, let me give you a list. We're going to go over a list of heroes you're going to grind every day for when you're in the beginning of the game. You ain't going to grind uh, Kai. Please don't even waste our time with Kai. Please don't do it. You might as well just get fucking Frank. Um... I don't see any of these people worth getting besides I, I would I would farm I would farm Lance because he's actually a decent tank. He might be easier for you to get besides uh since he's in the beginning and stuff. I wouldn't get anybody from here besides Jenny and Maz. So these are gonna be like the first two people you're gonna be farming every day. Farm them, get them going because they're gonna be important in guild raids too. Um Jax, of course, you're gonna farm him every day. I wouldn't even bother with these other damn heroes, fuck them. We don't give a shit about them. Foos, once you get here. Um, Gillian. Jillian. Whatever the fuck you want to call him. Get his ass rolling and get Serenity. Serenity, you're going to farm her ass every day. Um, she's a pain in the ass to farm, too. It's very time-consuming. Cleo. Uh, she does have a high confusion. So, I mean, if you feel like doing it, she she's a good hero to have on your team. She raises that crit rate. Her her skill set is is pretty awesome. I would definitely start grinding her out. Dom is not a must if you got crut. Um, now as far as guild raids for in the future, yes, you're gonna want to farm her, but not in the early stages. But once you get kind of progressed, you want to start farming her. She's at the rab off. You need to farm him asap as soon as you see him, because in guild raids, that's gonna be your bread and butter. That nigga op as fuck. Um. 
Bear Man's a must. You got to get him. Now, you'll notice once you start getting into the Tower of Dawn, when you start doing the mirror stages, and when you just stick Bear Man in the middle, push push the damn third skill, his aggro is going to draw everybody to him. It's going to make your life so much more easier in the tower, too. So that's why I would like for you to get Bear Man. Because it's just going to make your quest for greatness it's that much easier. You stick that nigga in there. You just stick him out there. Push the third skill. He's going to draw everybody to him. Take some shit off you. He's naturally got the... I think he's got like the second highest defense. Lance actually got higher defense. But Bear Man's got uh, better uh, better HP. So he's going to survive for you. Um, let's see here. I don't feel you need any of these heroes. I wouldn't even bother. Definitely unlock some. You know what I'm saying? Unlock them all. But, you know what I'm saying, don't focus on skilling. I did a video the other day of what heroes are important on guild raids. So you just you just mess with them. But those heroes that I went over today, they're definitely going to get you through the tower in a normal mode. So that's just what you do. You grind out that shit, you're going to be all right in this game. Um, and join the guild as soon as you can. So get in that guild. Get your friendship points up. Get your battle masteries up. Get your damn... Spend the $4.99 on the game a month. Uh, Unlock Moo over here. Because Moo moves the fucking shit. Like, a, a lot of people, when they first went, they went for Momo. Because he was, like, so easy to unlock. Don't bother with no damn Momo. I'm running out of shit to buy. So I'm just buying shark jeans. I, I can't see myself ever using this guy. He's fucking retarded. Um, but anyways, yeah, Moose, Moose fucking awesome. She takes a little bit to unlock. I think it took me like three weeks to unlock her. But once she's unlocked, you, you max her ass ASAP. Put her in your fucking team. Um, matter of fact, this team right here, once you get Moo unlocked, drop Carrot. Carrot's gone. Put Moo there. You're, you're gonna be golden as far as getting in the Tower of Dawn normal mode. So, you're straight, man. I think that, that that'll pretty much do it for you guys. I think I think that's going to hold you guys down if you just focus on them heroes. Do those little few things um, and get your gear up. Remember to save your modification pots. Now that you get the fucking shop from here, you're getting two free pieces of equipment every single day, man. This is some bullshit. You know how hard I had to work in this gold? Man, that's crazy. You're getting mana stones, all kinds of good stuff. Hell yeah. So yeah, that that pretty much does it. It's your boy Jay Gutter in the building. Um I'ma leave. I'ma leave y'all with that. I think that you're gonna be alright, man. Um matter of fact, fuck it. Let's just go over some battle masteries real quick. Support masteries. Which ones that you wanna get, what you wanna do with them. Cause that's gonna help you out actually a lot. Um as far as these battle masteries go, the first one that you're gonna wanna get is the when you're in the beginning of the game you want this damn hill right here this hill is gonna fucking save your life right there go for the hill um max that one first grace grace is amazing go with the grace uh never use this high moral don't ever even dare and then once you jump down here and you're able to get here go for that hero hp first then do defense, then do attack. Because, like I said, this game is all about survivability. Anyways, just look at mine. That's that's how we set up right now. Um, support masteries. Shit, since you got, since you got, um, we're getting all this free gold nowadays in, uh, in the event and everything. I wouldn't go with that. Since you're going to be an early level, go with this Lord XP. That's going to help you level up quicker so you get the free energy. So you can just basically just keep playing because you level up so damn quick. Um, this increases the success rate of equipment enhancing, so you definitely want to get that. Otherwise, you're just going to waste a bunch of money. Um, this will give you a good random option when you're like, you know what I'm saying, when you, uh, when you upgrade weapons. Uh, yeah. This, this will make sure that when you're using those modification potions that you're going to get, like, you're going to get something decent. If you don't have this upgraded, I've done it before on accident. Like, you're getting straight green shit all the time. You're never going to see a pink or an orange, nothing. Um, no, don't bother with that one. 
Why do I have that on right now? That's terrible. Oh man, we need to reset that. That's just fucking terrible. I don't even know. You don't. You never want to increase the amount of friendship points that you can get by fifteen percent. That's fucking retarded. Um, the other thing that you're gonna want to do is uh, harass people, man. Because let me tell you, there's a lot of powerful people on the game. I remember when I first started, I had people. I had a couple five star people request me. You know what I'm saying? Like add me as their friend. And they were just fucking awesome. They were just tearing shit up. And when you can use that mercenary, that's going to help out a lot in the Tower of Dawn. I think sets work now on mercenaries. So you get a powerful ass friend, you just be like, what's up? Ask people in the channel, just be like, what's up, man? I'm new to the game. I could really use some five-star help. People are going to actually friend request you and help you. Because when you have that mercenary to add and use for them two turns, oh, they finna fuck some shit up. You finna be all right. Anyways, it's your boy, Jake Gutter. Holding it down. Um, sorry, I wasn't really prepared to make this. I just said fuck it and just made a spare the moment. So it is what it is. Um, I hope it helps somebody out there. Anyways, highlight your boy.